Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Advanced 4 within Part 4 of Module 1. We've got a problem called Count All Characters. Now, uh, you might remember a function that we did previously called Get All Words, where we used uh, an object to count up various totals of different words. Uh, for more in-depth explanation on how that works, I believe Get All Words is the problem you're going to want to look at. Uh, in this one, we're going to do a, a very similar idea, which is to say we're going to use an object to count this up, which makes sense because it's returning an object and the input's a string. However, the pattern and why we're using it the way that we are is more, uh, let's say, in-depthly explained, even though it's probably not the way that you would explain something being in-depth. But anyway, we're going to iterate over the string. For each character, we're going to add it to an object by either checking to see if the object doesn't have that value and instantiating it, or if it does have that value, incrementing it. So first thing we'll need is a result object where we're going to put all of the characters. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to return that. So one of the things that we can do with strings, provided that we don't want to alter them because we can't alter them, is we can iterate over them in a very similar fashion to how we would an array. So uh, eventually we'll find the plus, there it is. And okay, so two possibilities. One is that we have seen the current letter, the other is that we haven't seen it. If we have not seen the current letter that we're looking at, then the value of the current letter, which is gonna be string at i, within the result object is gonna be undefined, meaning we haven't created a variable, we haven't created a value for that key yet. Once we create a value for that key, theoretically it'll be a number because we're going to instantiate it as one right here and uh, well, we'll get that in a moment. So result at string at i. String at i can be considered the current character. We're going to set that equal to one. If we haven't seen it before, then after this, we should register that we've seen it once. Otherwise, we know we have seen this letter before and instead of creating a new value for it, um, and that's accidentally hitting inspect, so we'll close that, and we'll paste that, and we'll plus plus. Same as equal as plus equals one, or is equal to the expression plus one. Those all basically mean the same thing. And in case that was kind of obfuscated, what we mean by that is that. Uh, that is the same as plus equals one, which is also the same as plus plus. So I'm gonna leave it as plus, uh, plus equals one. And there you go. So create a result object iterate over the length of the string, counting each character. Uh, we're not counting each character, we're incrementing by each character. Uh, result at string at i, if that's equal to undefined, we haven't seen it, so we know we've now seen it one time after this iteration. If it is something other than undefined, uh, we're going to increment the value that it has by one because we have thus seen it again. So we're gonna run our tests, and it's correct. Excellent work, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.